All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And this is freaking it, guys. All right, this is probably, no, definitely, definitely the most important data download in the history of Global Dokkan. Because this is the data download that translated the assets for LR Blue Gogeta, LR Blue Vegito, their Awakening Medals, their Dokkan events, all that good stuff, and got them ready for release tonight at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or some other time depending on your time zone. But either way, we're about 16 hours away All right, from release at the time I'm making this video and I can't freaking wait, man. That is the exact time, by the way. All right, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time that I'll be going live on the channel to do my summons with my girlfriend, Android18, aka Taya. Hold on. No, her name is Taya. So, Taya, aka Android18, <laughs> we'll be doing our summons together. We're gonna pull some fire together. You guys better be there. All right, if look, unless it's a life or death situation, something crazy is going on in your life, you gotta be there. All right, there's nothing more important in life right now than this right here, than this dual Dokkan Fest. If you're a loyal global player, be in the stream, all right? I'll be there, you'll be there. Hey, yeah, Android 18 will be there. We're gonna all pull the LR fusions together. It's gonna happen, okay? They're all scheduled here. So we got the Gogeta in his SSR form, TUR, LR, and of course he goes blue with the transformation. And uh, once again, that's 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We got Vegito as well. Even though I love Gogeta more, still love this guy too. T-U-R, L-R, and there's also, of course, Bardock and Gine. Can't forget them. They're not the main hype units, but they're still very good. And we'll go over them. We'll, we'll, we'll give them their respect, all right, later in the video. And then we got the Trunks and Mai as well. Very, very good unit. So basically, Bardock is coming with the Gogeta banner, and then Trunks and Mai is coming with the Vegito banner, okay? So those are the units on DBZ Space. And we're also getting tickets, of course. So these were just added to the game through the data downloads. So we got the Dokkan Fest Ticket A or Dokkan Festival A ticket and Dokkan Festival B ticket. I'm assuming that Gogeta's A and Vegito's B. Just a feeling. But either way, it doesn't really matter. We got the tickets. They're happening. I mean, I don't know why people were actually freaking out so much when they were like officially confirmed on the Dokkan Twitter because was there really any doubt, right? Because we got tickets last year, we got tickets the year before that, we got tickets the year before that. The only anniversary we didn't get tickets was the first year for any other Dual Dokkan Fest in recent memory. We got tickets for all of them, right? So was anybody really scared that they were gonna shaft us this time and not give us tickets, right? So either way, got the tickets, they're in the game files, we're good. And uh, also, we got the assets for the special edition Dokkan Battlefield or Ultimate Clash that is, you know, anniversary themed. Well, really, um, the Broly movie and Trunks Saga, future Trunks Saga themed. So the enemies for this upcoming uh, Ultimate Clash, special edition Ultimate Clash, which is starting, I think, in a couple days. Um, the first level is Paragus and Bardock. Part two, or level two, is Whis, Beerus, and Trucks and Mai, and then level three is Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, Zamasu, Goku Black, and then finally Wrathful Broly that transforms into Super Saiyan Broly. Okay, so those are the enemies. I believe the rewards are the same as usual. I'm pretty sure. But there you go. And next up, we gotta check out the English voice lines for Gogeta and Vegito's active skills and see how they compare to the Japanese ones. All right, so big shout out to DBZ World for posting these on his YouTube channel, and uh, here we go. I mean, since we're already here, might as well just see all the animations, because they're glorious, man. They're beautiful. So there was the 12 key for Gogeta. Here's the 18 key. We're going to get the transformation soon. And then 12 key, 18 key for blue Gogeta. And then finally, of course, the active skill after that.
It never gets old, man. It never gets old. You will not believe how many times I've seen these animations. And... I still love it, man. I still love it. Here it is. It's not bad. Okay, that's, that's good. I don't mind that. You know, sometimes English voice lines a little bit iffy, but it's Gogeta. I mean, they did him justice. All right, it's it's, it's fine. It's fine. Now, Vegito, I'm a little bit more worried about. We'll see what this one's like. Still sick though, man. This guy's animations are still sick too. Not as good as Gogeta's, but still very, very good. There he goes. Not bad, okay, so <laughs> that first line was a little bit funny, but for the most part it was good still. I still I always prefer the Japanese voice acting, I'm not gonna lie. Oh there's the Gine active skill for uh, the upcoming Bardock and Gine. Now here's Trunks and Mai. But no, okay, look, for the most part, I do enjoy the uh, voice lines, all right? I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to switching over to English once in a while, but I'm always going to be a sub over dub guy. You know what I mean? All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, active skill, active skill. Sweet. All right, so shout out to EBZ World once again for posting those. We really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, there were great animations, but I mean, of course, they all look the same, right? It's just the, the voice lines I was curious about. And I do still stand by my original statement that Gogeta has the best animations in the entire game. No question, the best animations in the entire game. And Vegito has top five animations. All right, not the best, but definitely in the top five. So those are the animations, guys. Hopefully everybody will get to see them in their own gameplay very, very soon, right? Now, for the last time, for the last time on this channel, I will be going over the details for Gogeta, Vegito, Trunks and Mai, and Bardock and Gine. For anybody that missed the past couple of videos or are just discovering the channel for the first time today, we're gonna start with the Gogeta, move on to Vegito, and then Bardock and Gine, Trucks and Mai, and then we're out of here. Okay, so starting with the STR Gogeta. His leader skill is Final Trump Card. So they changed the Last Resort to Final Trump Card. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been better as well. Could have been just called Last Resort. That was way better. But, I mean, look, given how they've been naming some recent categories on Global, Final Trump card is is okay. So that or fusion category heat plus three HP attack and defense plus 150 percent. Super attacks 12 key meteor attack raises attack and causes colossal damage. And 18 key Kamehameha raises attack and causes mega colossal damage. Passive attack and defense plus 70 percent key plus three and launches an additional attack 
that is a medium chance, which is a 25% chance of becoming a super attack when attacking, and high chance, which is 50% of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, as the third attacker. In a turn, transforms when conditions are met. Transformation conditions transform starting from the fourth turn, from the start of battle. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Fuse Fighter, Prepare for Battle, Over in a Flash, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Once he transforms into Blue Gogeta, his 18 key is Stardust Fall, which raises, sorry, his 12 key is Stardust Fall, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, 18 key Meteor Explosion raises defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage, passive attack and defense plus 77%, key plus 5, launches an additional attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7%, up to 77%, with each attack performed and attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn. As the third attacker, he launches an additional super attack and high chance, which is 50% of a fading enemy's attack, including super attacks, and his active skill greatly raises attack temporarily, it's called ultimate Kamehameha by the way, and causes ultimate damage, can be activated when only facing one enemy whose HP is 50% or less, starting from the next attacking turn after he transforms, and his links are Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Warrior Gods, Orana Flash, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And as far as his boost goes, it's calculated separately each time, so once he attacks 11 times, he gets a total boost of 213.29%. And of course, like I said in previous videos, if you launch this active skill with him as the third attacker, like in the third slot, then you can put him back into the first or second slot, and he'll benefit from the entire passive, so he'll get the additional super attack, he'll have a high chance of evading enemies' attacks, he'll also get the additional attack here, and also have attacks effective against all types. Alright, so that's Gogeta. Moving on to the Vegito now, final trump card or Patara, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. His super attacks work the exact same way as Gogeta, his passive pre-transformation is the exact same as base Gogeta, same condition for transformation as well. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Brainiacs, Power Bestowed by God, Over in a Flash, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And once he transforms, his 12 key is raises, his Vegito Sword raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and his 18 key is Omega Finishing Blow, raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, passive attack and defense plus 77%, key plus 2, launches an additional super attack plus an additional key plus 1, up to 5, and attack and defense plus 7%, up to 77%, with each attack performed as the first or second attacker in a turn, and then as the third attacker launches an additional super attack, and high chance, which is 50% of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, his uh, active skill greatly raises attack temporarily, Final Kamehameha, by the way, and causes ultimate damage, can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less, starting from the next attacking turn after transformation. And his links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Power Bestowed by God, Over in a Flash, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Okay, so once again, his boost works the same way as Gogeta, so after 11 attacks, he's looking at 213.29%, and also if you launch the active skill as the third attacker in the third slot, then he'll get his full passive, gets that additional super attack here, additional super attack here, and also will have a high chance to evade, and also will be stacking attack and defense still if you're not maxed out, and he has the potential to launch four super attacks that turn in addition to the active skill if you have dupes, right? So with the hidden potential additional attack, he has the potential to launch that fourth super, but three supers are definitely guaranteed that turn. If you launch the active skill in the third slot and then move it back to the first or second slots. Okay, so that's Gogeta, that's Vegito, and now let's move on to the Bardock and Gine, who, like I said, is a very, very good unit. Obviously not as hyped up as the fusions, but uh, definitely shouldn't be slept on. So leader skill is movie heroes, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%, or STR types key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack, final spirit cannon, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense 
plus 100% key plus 3, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when there's an ally whose name includes Goku on the team, Captain Ginyu and Junior etc excluded, plus an additional attack plus 100% when there is a movie boss's category enemy, plus an additional key plus 3, attack plus 100% and performs a critical hit when there is an enemy whose name includes Frieza, but Frieza soldier excluded. And their active skill is Gine's support removes all allies status effects and all allies attack plus 22% for 2 turns can be activated when HP is 80% or less starting from the 4th turn. From the start of battle, once only. Links are Saiyan warrior race, Saiyan lineage, Saiyan pride, cold judgment, prepare for battle, experienced fighters, and fierce battle. Okay, so there is Bardock and Gine. And now let's move on to Trunks and Mai. So leader skill is Joined Forces Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, or AGL Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. Super Attack Shining Cross greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Supreme Damage to Enemy. Then Passive is Attack and Defense plus 100%, Key Plus 3, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when there is an ally whose name includes Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or a blue character basically on the team plus an additional attack plus 100% when there is a future saga category enemy plus an additional key plus 3 attack plus 100% and performs a critical hit when facing an enemy whose name includes Zamasu or Goku Black. An active skill is Evil Containment Wave raises attack by 628% temporarily and performs a critical hit, stuns enemy, and halves own defense within the same turn. It can be activated when your team has an ally whose name includes Trunks Teen Future, Trunks Future, or My Future, attacking in the same turn, self-excluded, starting from the third turn, from the start of battle, once only. Their links are Brainiacs, Cold Judgment, Courage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Solid Support, and Fierce Battle. And that is it for Trunks and Mai as well. So those are the four new units that are coming to the game tonight once again at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys really are still confused, you can actually pop over to, let's see, just go over to the Dokkan Wiki, the main page. And if you go down to Upcoming Cards, click on Upcoming Cards, and there's going to be a countdown All right, to when the banner. Is supposed to drop so if you don't know how to convert from PST or EST to your time zone then just check the Tokan wiki all right there's a countdown it'll tell you exactly how much time there's left before the banners come out before your boy tiger goes live on the channel and uh, streams you know his summons why am I talking third person I don't know what's going on anyways that is today's video guys shout out to DBZ world once again uh, shout out to the data miners who data mine, you know, the assets and all that stuff. And uh, shout out to you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. I'm hyped, more hyped than I've ever been playing this game. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the stream. So make sure you guys join in if you can. Like I said, unless there's, you know, a life or death situation occurring, you should be there. So <laughs> that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Until tonight, enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.